What's going on world? Season three of our sneak peek series is almost at its end, sadly. I'm your host George Kill and today we bring you part two of Josh Children's sneaker garage full of 800 plus kicks. We saw his Air Forces and SBs in part one. This time Josh reveals his Nike basketball gems and Jordans. I know Foams is more of an East Coast thing, um, but I got a couple pair. The, uh, the Dr. Dooms, he's pretty solid. Nice little contrast to black with the white. The, uh, the Royals. The black on blacks, the black and reds. The forest greens, these are, these are hard, super hard. I don't know what color you would call this. It's kind of like a turquoise, teal, whatever, but whatever they are, they're sick. I like them. We got the silver ones as well. The candy apple boys. Nick Young was talking about these as well. You know, I'm playing off everybody else's stuff. I showed you these in, in Brooklyn, the galaxies. You know, here we go with some more of the pennies. Both of these, penny twos, obviously are just nice. You know, it'd, be, it'd be amazing to see what would happen to Penny if he didn't get hurt, man, because he was cold. What's your favorite uh, penny out of the whole signature line? Probably either the two or the four. Um, I played a lot in the four, and I got a couple pair left, I think. Just performance-wise, one of the best shoes. One of the best shoes. Here's the white and red ones. I love that shoe, man. I think I got some, the black ones over here somewhere. The Orlando edition. But that that was a, a cold shoe. We're going to some of the older stuff, too. Um, these are from my college days. I kept a pair forever, the, the, the shocks. The VC shocks. I, I used to give him crap about it. He, he, he loved this shoe, too, man. We played together in Phoenix. He just, uh, he loved this shoe. So, not this color. I got the color that he dunked on uh, Frederick Weiss in, but one of the sick, I mean, that's probably, probably the sickest dunk ever. You know, I mean, jumping over a seven footer. So, shout out to my boy VC. What up, boy? So, growing up, although I have a ton of Jordans, Pippen was, Sky Pippen was my favorite player. So, I have to have a few pair of Pips. Um, and I don't have many. I got these, and I think he wore these when he was with um, with Houston, I wanna say. I gotta have some pips, man. I have a pair of really old shoes that were out when I was in the eighth grade. Might've been younger than that. I don't know if y'all remember these. Maybe if you saw this, you can get a hint. The Air Adjust Force. This is another one of those, those classic Nike basketball shoes, but this was like the ID before the ID, you know what I mean? You get, you can, you can kinda like customize your colors with your team, you know what I mean? So, um, and I got, actually I have the, the high top pair too, but that box is just too big, dude. So I just leave them out, I leave them in a the cut. Some more Barclays. This was one of his, his sicker shoes. I got a couple pair of old school C-Webs too. Air Max Sensations. I don't know if y'all remember that C-Web. Uh, he was rocking these before he rocked the Dada's. <laughs> I don't know what the heck possessed him to go to Dada, but another pair of uh, Sensations, the white and black ones. This was a comfortable shoe too. So growing up, my, my main goal in life was to have a pair of P's, personalized kicks. Like I said earlier with the forces over there in Europe, but these were the ones that really just, I feel good about myself when I had you know, the logo on the tongue and my hoop kicks with my number. These are sentimental as well. I got a couple pair of these left. And I had another pair that they made the second year, but these first ones, man, these hyper dunks were just, mean a lot to me. It's just, I mean, as a, as a, a guy who, who really loves shoes to have you know, your logo on them and all that stuff, it's just it's sick, so. So Josh, you're obviously into a lot of the Nike basketball product when it was like really hot in the 90s. What are your thoughts about the basketball product then compared to like the Kobe's, the Durant's, the LeBron's now? I think they're they're equally nice. I mean, you know, a lot of the Kobe stuff is just technologically, I mean, he, he was the first to kind of really pioneer the low top shoe in the sense that, you know, that's where his line just went, was just low top. And now you see um, Durant's line going that way, LeBron to an extent. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the stuff that they have out now, it's just, technologically, it's just crazy. You know, the crazy thing about some of the, the Kobe's that came out, he doesn't allow you to put orthotics in. 
like I know that in the, which ones, was it the seven? With the, like the, the little kind of boot that went in there? Like you had to take the whole boot out and then you couldn't put it on the thought again. I got foot problems. So I, you know, I, I could never play in them, but um, you know, just his, his, his shoes are sick. One of the Kobe's I have, I don't have a ton of them, um, but one of the ones I do have is the, uh, the uh, cloaks. I don't know if these came out or they didn't. I know that um, the way I got them was um, my boy Hakeem Warwick, he was playing in them. He wore 14. They only, at the time, they only released these for Kobe and it was in a 14. So it was like, you had to go, you had to like know a guy at Nike in order to get, you know, some of these that like were made for Kobe. So, um, you know, had hooked me up with these. They're pretty sick. I mean, you've seen some of the pennies come out now with the cloak, the cloak on them. Um, that's a six shoe, man. Master P made this this uh, this whole thing famous with his uh, Impala. I don't know if y'all remember that. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one, my favorite model though. The five. Um, this one and I think the four. I really enjoy like responsive shoes. So that's why I've never really played in like like. 12s or just anything that's kind of a little more bulky, foam posits to an extent. Um, I like stuff that's just kind of like, when you want to cut, you cut. You know, and it's not like just bulky where you're just kind of clunking around, so. To the Jays? <sighs> All right. All right, we can go to the Jays. Y'all want to go to the Jays? I got a few, a few Jays up my sleeve. Um, should we kind of go numerically? I got the patent leather ones. I had these in college. I also had these in college. And I thrashed them, but I was able to find some more. I don't have a ton of twos. And I'm sure I got some more ones somewhere, but just for the sake of time. I just got some of the, the white and red boys, older version. And I got the, uh, the collection pack. Is it? They tried to do it, go Italian with that, didn't they? Collection, whatever, whatever it was. I got these. I got the, the low top white and blue ones that I think are a little, a little beat up. Just since we're right here, um, these are old school. Uh, obviously, you can see by the box, but um, the Jumpman Pros. This is kind of like right at that beginning where they started coming out with Team J's. Um, so these was, I'm not a huge fan of Team J's now, but these were cold uh, back in the day. Threes are probably my favorite. Those are always sick. Crisp. That's like a summer shoe for sure. Uh, the Gray Boys. I got Fires, Crisp. Obviously I got the black and white cements, I think. Probably every person in America has a pair of those. Oh, it's another three I have that very, very meaningful. I think people slept on this. Was right when Jordan came out with like his lifestyle collection. Um, people slept on them. So nice, I had to get them twice. You know what I mean? And it's hard to find these in a 14, dude. I mean, like, <laughs> you're scouring the internet trying to find them, dude. But I had them in college and I thrashed them. That's one of the shoes I wish I didn't thrash. They came out with the, the white 88s, right? With these, I don't think they came out with these, did it? So. Gotta respect your roots, brother. Got some flips. Black. All black board. We can jump to the fours. Got the laser boards. Yeah, I think these are some of the older militaries, but I could be wrong. Yeah, from 06. Black lasers. I know you notice this difference because you you into it like that, but a lot of people won't. I was able to get my hands on some of the older ones. I put these on. I put a couple of other older older pairs that I got on, and the quality and the comfort back then versus now is no comparison. I mean, shoes are way more way more comfortable back then. I got some more fours here. Cool grays. Yeah. <laughs> of these. Oh man, I think, yeah, I think about three. One, two, three. Certain shoes, man, you just gotta, you gotta get a couple pairs, man. Thunder and lightning. 
You were saying something like you don't you don't see people with both of them? Yeah. Oh, they're lightning, baby. There's some more fours, too. Some more fours. St. Patty's Day, white and green, boys. We can move on. Move on to the fives. Fives. The white joints. Plain, simple. I'm hoping this stuff doesn't tumble over. I got some of the old grapes. We call these wine. Aged, you know what I'm saying? Why? It's a tournament over in Europe. Um, those are pretty clean. Here go some more old fives, I think. Some older boys. You can see, you can see by the yellowing. They're a little old. But you know how they say if you got a scar on your face, it's ass character. Same with shoes, man. If you got a little yellowing, you know what I mean? It's just people know, people respect the fact that you had them for a minute. Just like the fours, I was able to get some of the the old school fives too. Um, these are super comfortable. <laughs> I feel like these were kind of slept on. People weren't really, weren't really on them like that. But they just crisp to me. These are cold too. Cold colorway. These just, you know, they just look nice. You just throw these on with just some jeans and a white tee. Three M's, Toro Bravo fact. Gotta have those. Here's some of my favorites that people kind of slept on too. Were the, uh, the Burgundy Boys. G Money got G Money holding up the string beans. Black and Carolina boys. You gotta have, and these were hard to find too, man. The beans. It's a heavy box too. I think that might be close to it on the fives. I, I might have some more somewhere. I would not let you go on to the sixes without showing us what this is. Oh, another five. My bad. My bad, brother. So, like I was telling you earlier, any PEs that I get, I gotta have them in my size. Otherwise, I just it don't make no sense to have them. So I got some of the, the rays from when he was with Seattle. So, I mean, you can see I, I wore them, whatever. I'm not one of them dudes that just holds on the kicks. It don't make no sense. Part three, why not? There's obviously much more to see in Josh's collection and with him being the last subject in season three, we decided to give him three parts. So tune in next Wednesday on Christmas Eve to see the third and final episode of Josh's Sneaker Garage. See you soon.